What's up guys, my name is Larry G. I'm a photographer and videographer from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And today I'm gonna be showing you how I went from this to this. That's done. Let's head over to the computer and we'll get this thing going. So before we really dive into the edit, I really want to give a special shout out and thank you to Stephanie, AKA the Mayor Wells, which is the model that is featured in today's photo and to Soji. Um, it's a restaurant here in Baton Rouge. They're pretty new and they were gracious enough to let us basically have a photo shoot in their restaurant. So I just want to say thank you to both of you um, for helping collaborate and create this amazing photo. Now back to the video. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is have these things already set up in Lightroom. Um, I like to work on a full screen, so I just enlarge my screen. And I'm going to show you guys how I get this from this. So let's get into it. The first thing I do is use a preset. And I really like to use my F36 preset that I have down here. So I click that. And right away, I can see that it's really, really warm. And that's not exactly the look I'm going for. So I'm going to scroll up until I see the temperature slider. And I'm going to start messing with that. Hmm, still not feeling it. It's still a little too warm. My arrow keys aren't exactly working, so I have to use the mouse, which I'm not a fan of. But let's keep playing with it until we get something that we like. Now that I'm getting the temperature a little closer to what I want, I'm going to mess with the tint. Take away from the magenta, move it more towards the green and brighten it up just a little bit, trying to bring out those uh, highlights and still keep that neon pretty shiny. After that, I'm going to close the basic tab and go to my HSL sliders. And I'm gonna start messing with those. So one of the first things I'm going to do is start adjusting the purples because there's a lot of purple and then start messing with the magentas because that's the main color. Um, I also want to mess with the reds, make them a little more orange. That brings out the truer skin tone, even though this is a heavily magenta and purpley photo. So I'm just going to keep moving these around till I get what I want. Um, that's starting to look right. Let's see. After that, I'm gonna adjust the luminance. Bring it up. Yeah. And you see that skin starting to look a little better. And go back and forth. You see that the new one's a little brighter, so I'm gonna go. Back into the basic tab and adjust the exposure and bring it down close that i'm gonna go into the detail and i'm just gonna select the point on her face so i can really see the detail in it and then i'm gonna sharpen it just a little bit just a bit And then I'm going to bring the noise reduction down by bringing the luminance up. And we'll play with these until it kind of smooths it out a little bit. And then, like, I still want it to be sharp, but I want it to be a smooth sharp, if that makes sense. Once I have the detail where I want it, I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna open a brush and I'm just gonna 
brighten her teeth just a little bit. You can see they kind of get lost in the shadow, but because the photo, I want it to look a little smooth and like a polish, I'm just gonna throw on a teeth whitening brush. I'm just gonna go over her teeth like that. And then zoom in a little more and get these ones in the corner. Make sure I really go over the edges. Zoom out. And that's looking about right. I've taken the photo from this to this. And that's how you do that. So I normally start with a preset and then work my way back from that. And I've been loving my F36 preset lately. So that's the one that I've used on most of my Instagram photos lately, if you guys like that. That's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or a heart, depending on what platform you are watching this on. My name is Larry G and you can believe that.